Today we will discuss about Gresham's law. According to Gresham's law, for continuous relative motion between the number of links of a mechanism, the summation of the smallest and the largest link is less than or equal to other two links. Now, this is the statement of the Gresham's law. To understand Gresham's law, let me satisfy some condition. Let me take if S plus L less than P plus Q. Now, law is satisfied because the summation of smallest and largest link equal less than other two links. Now, law is satisfied and smallest link at a fixed position, it will operate input and output link and we obtain is double crank mechanism. Now, if smallest link adjacent to fixed link, then we obtain crank rocker mechanism. Now, if smallest link at coupler position, then we obtain rocker rocker mechanism. Now to understand what is fixed, what is adjacent to fix. Suppose this is fixed link, this is adjacent to fix. Now this is coupler position. Fix, adjacent to fix, this is coupler position. Now if law is satisfied then as it the smallest link at this position, it will operate input output link, then we obtain double crank mechanism. If, if it is adjacent to fix, then we obtain crank rocker mechanism. If at a coupler position, then we obtain rocker rocker mechanism. Now, if second condition, if law is also satisfied, but the summation of the smallest and largest link is equal to the other two links, then same as previous all these conditions will satisfy it <coughs> now if suppose the smallest and largest link is this and other two link is this this is not of equal length if we take here now s plus l is equal to p plus q now if we take pair of link of equal length and law is also satisfied now suppose i take link of equal position now if i fix the largest link then crank will at adjacent position now both of equal length then they will rotate by 360 degree 360 degree now if i fix link largest link then we obtain double crank mechanism if i fix crank then also rotate or smallest link double crank mechanism so in this set you fix any of the link then you will obtain double crank mechanism so this chain is called golden chain now if we take another case now these two link of equal length at adjacent to each other and of another largest length adjacent to each other. If we fix the smallest link that is of size 2, then we obtain double crank mechanism. Mechanism. Now, 
if I mix largest link, if I mix smallest link, then we obtain because sorry, sorry, sorry. if I fix smallest link, correct, correct, correct. If I fix smallest link, then we obtain double crank mechanism. If we fix largest link but adjacent to it the smallest link, then we obtain crank rocker mechanism. This chain is called deltoid chain. Now, if law is not satisfied, then the condition will be then you fix any of the link, then you will obtain no doubt double rocker mechanism. You will obtain double rocker mechanism. So this is how Gresop's law for continuous relative motion between the link in a mechanism, the summation of the smallest and the largest link equal to or less than other two link if law is satisfied then these conditions occur and if we take a special case a pair of equal length and these are attached in this way then we any type any link you fix you will obtain double connect mechanism if we take another case if we connect adjacent look smallest pair adjacent and largest pair adjacent then if we fix smallest length then we could get double crank mechanism if we fix largest length adjacent because we made crank or smallest link adjacent then we obtain crank rocker mechanism if no law is not satisfied then we obtain double rocker mechanism thank you